this is Jokini with Modern Homemakers, and today I'm going to show you how to make Valentine bags. It's actually my reusable snack bag, um, and we've just added the hearts and just made them cute. You can make them in different colors for girls or boys, but it's the snack bag. And it's just nicer than sending another piece of plastic out into the world, and you can make a whole bunch for your kid's class, or you can just make one or two to be special for your kiddos, but... Um, it's totally washable. These things might, you know, fray over time. We've done a decorative stitch on them, and that's okay if things get a little fuzzy. They're still usable. So, first thing you need to do is go print off the sewing pattern. Okay, this is the free sewing pattern. Just go to Modern Homemakers, and um, we're going to cut out the two hearts and the main body piece. Okay, so we've got your pattern all cut out, and I have pinned um, one color for the baggie. We've got the place on fold right on the fold here. And I've got different materials for the hearts, the two different size hearts. And we're going to go ahead and cut those out. I went ahead and doubled because I'm making lots of baggies. But you do not need two of each size heart unless you're making multiples. You would just need one of each. So I won't make you watch me cut these, but go cut out. Make sure not to cut across that fold. You need that fold. Okay, so I've got the hearts and the main piece. And the next thing I'm going to do is cut my elastic, which I'm going to use the place on fold line as my elastic cutting guide. So the rough and the smooth elastic. Let me get those cut. I always go a little bit shorter. Um, probably I'm just trying to skimp a little on elastic always. A little bit to here and there, Adam. And once we've got that cut, we are ready to move on to the serger. If you don't have a serger, use a zigzag. So it doesn't matter which side of the rectangle you use because it's identical, um, as long as it's one of the short sides. And with the cut feature on your serger, we're going to go one pass. And then I'm going to snip the ends, and I'm going to switch the serger to where... Um, it doesn't cut the fabric. With the serger function that does not cut, with the rough side of your Velcro, we're going to line up just about centered with that right next to the red, and we're going to go through and do a straight stitch all the way around. Doesn't matter if you're not perfectly straight. And then I'm going to switch to a zigzag, and we're going to go all the way around with a zigzag. Once you've done both of those, we're going to go ahead and snip our threads. And now is where we start figuring out where the heart's going to go. So, if this is the rough side of your baggie, what's going to happen is it's going to fold up like so with just enough space for that to go over. So I'm doing that and then I'm going to turn it so that I know exactly where my heart's going to be centered. Because the hearts are on the back of the baggie. Heart on the back and the, or the Velcro on the front. So anyway, with your big heart, we're going to get that centered just like that. And then we're going to put a pin in. And I'm going to pick a decorative stitch. Um, this machine has lots of different de decorative stitches. I'm going to do the one that kind of looks like a honeycomb pattern on this one. But you could even just zigzag all so the way around. Decorative stitch. So I've got on the decorative stitch, and I'm going to go right alongside all the way around. And it's, it's going to be a little hard because of the heart shape. So just take your time and stay right up next to the edge. Let me get to the point here. We're going to turn... the 
heart. That's what that looks like. And now we're gonna go ahead and pin the smaller heart right inside. So we've got the smaller heart now lined up and pinned on here. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna stitch around that. So anytime you're sewing something with lots of pieces, it's easy to mess up, sew stuff on the wrong side. So take your time every step of the way and make sure that your heart is on the outside and the rough piece of Velcro is there. I always want to call it elastic. Right, I've put in two pins here, and that is just enough space so that this can be folded over. And you can see there's enough for even a lip after that. And the next step we're gonna do is to take our smooth elastic, and we are gonna stitch that on right up next to the edge, just about that far out. So centered and around. So same thing, do a straight stitch and then a zigzag. Okay, we've got both pieces of Velcro attached now. We've got our two pins that are making sure it's in that right position there where you can see the heart from the back. And I've got the serger set to where it cuts the fabric. If you're zigzagging, you just need to trim your fabric. And um, if you're looking for more detail on this, if something didn't seem as clear, um, I'm using my seven-year-old for my cameraman tonight. I'm so proud of her. But um, it might be a little more clear in the snack bag video. It's the same thing, just without the heart. So we're going to start going around. And we're going to start making a slight curve. Okay, our serger thread broke. So ignore this. I'm having to start over. We've got the serger where it cuts. <laughs> doing good, is he doing good? <laughs> Cameraman in training. And then go with the curve. Once again, the reusable snack bags video will show more detail on that. All right, we're gonna snip the ends. And I'm gonna switch the serger to where it does not cut. And we're gonna go right over that again and make sure to stay right up next to the edges. Otherwise, you'll get these um, where it just kind of weird fraying looking things. So I'm gonna stay right up next to the edge with this next pass. Otherwise, you'll see those in the end. Be real careful when you go around the Velcro patch. That's where it wants to break your thread. Okay, we're going to trim both of those threads. And if you look, we now have... Um, boom! And we've got our cute little hearts. So these are perfect for Valentine's and... I reiterate, you can make them in girl colors, boy colors. I still think the pink is my favorite. But um, whatever colors you want to make, they're reusable. And to wash them, you just turn them inside out. And the Velcro sticks to itself. So over time, I mean, obviously, we just did decorative stitches. So over time, these are going to fray. And I still think it's going to look really cute.